Imagine you own or manage several buildings. Whenever something breaks down or need maintenance, you need a way to keep track of all the requests for each building. How do you make sure that every maintenance request is linked to the right building? So you can see what issues are coming from which building at any time. This is where relationship comes to the picture in database. Hello everyone, welcome to Power App Full Course. Today, in this video, you will learn about how you can establish relationship between two tables in the Dataverse. Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn why relationship is required in Dataverse. Second thing, you will learn how you can establish relationship between two tables in Dataverse. Third thing, you will learn different types of relationship. And fourth thing, you will learn about how to update child records when parent records are updated. Or you can say that how you can update another table record when some other tables data are updated. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you why relationship is required. As I told you in scenario, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that you want to manage the information of building and you want to manage the information of maintenance request. So both table contain different data. Now how you can connect your maintenance request to the building. So we will store building ID in maintenance table. So that's why relationship is required in Dataverse table. I have already created a video on what is relationship and how you can use relationship in Dataverse. Link is given in the description. Now let me tell you the second thing, how you can establish relationship between two tables. So to establish a relationship between two tables in Dataverse, you need to use lookup column for that. So let me show you practically. Now here I have two tables. One table is building table and second table is maintenance request table. Now let me show you what is there in building table. Now in building table, building ID is a primary key, building city is a normal column and building uh, name. What is the name of the building? Now in second table, we, I made two column that is maintenance request and maintenance ID. Now I want to store the information that this maintenance request is for which building. So I will add a lookup column in that. So let me add that lookup column. So first of all, you need to click on plus sign. Then you need to give the name. Let's say I'm giving building ID and add the lookup column. Uh, so here uh, I need to select the data type lookup. Then require if I if you want to compulsory it's required, then you can keep it. Otherwise, you can keep it as an optional. Now, right now I'm relating this table to the table which is there. So I have made a table building table. So let me search that. Now here, this is a building table. Now here, go to the advanced property and see the relationship name and click on save. Now you are done with how you can add relationship using lookup column in Dataverse. Now let me tell you the third thing, types of relationship in database. So there are four different types of relationship in Dataverse. First is one to one relationship. That means for parent one record, only one child record will be there. Let's an example of husband and wife. There is a relationship called one to one relationship. Now another type of relationship in database that is one to many relationship. That means that one parent record has several child record. Let me tell you with the simple example that one parent can have more than one child. So we can say that this is a type of one to many relationship. Now third type of relationship is many to one relationship, which is a vice versa of one to many relationship. Now let me tell you the fourth type of relationship that is many to many relationship in that one record can have multiple reference record and one reference record can have multiple main records. So that is called many to many relationship. Now let me tell you how you can update the information of child table when 
parents table records are updated let me show you practically now here you can see that i have established a foreign key or you can say lookup column in maintenance request table now let me add some dummy data quickly now here you can see that i have added dummy data in the maintenance table now let's say if some thing is deleted or something is updated in parent table that is a building table then how it affect the child table so here you need to first load the parent table and here you need to click on the relationship once you click on the relationship here you will see the display name that is a primary column name building id now what is the relationship name so here you will see that new maintenance request this is a name of a relationship now this column is related to which table so this column is related to maintenance request table and which type of relationship is that so you can see that if you want to modify it you can click on this three dot and go to the edit and see here uh, you can see the name of a table and which type of relationship it is there and here you can see that is searchable option now if you want to make compulsory that column should be filled uh, that means relationship column should be filled in child table so you can right click as uh, you can select as a business required but right now i am keeping it as an optional now here if you go to the general property you will see the relationship name now here's the main thing come that is advanced option now if you scroll down little bit here you will see the uh, relationship or you can say the type of behavior now here you will able to see the type of behavior that is referential then if you click on it three types of behavior you will able to see first is referential parental and custom and with respect to type of behavior delete is given that is delete option is given if you click that two options you will find out remove link and restrict now let me show you practically each of this so first of all if i keep the behavior referential and here in delete if i select remove link and then let's see what happened now let's say from the uh, parent table let me go to the parent table first now this is the parent table now what is the meaning of the remove link that means if i'm deleting any record from the parent table so i'm deleting this first record uh, let me go to the edit and select that and delete one record if i try to delete this one record and if i see here the table which is related with the parent table and refresh it if you see here the building id which is reference to the parent table here it is considered it as a blank why the reason is that i have selected here let me show you again here i have selected in advanced property remove link if i keep as a restrict and done now let's see what happened first of all let it be save then let me go to the parent table and let me add one more data let's say here new row and let me add data b0022 then and the bath city and building name let's say shivali okay now in a child table let me just give you this reference okay and save it now here everything's fine now let me delete the data of b003 and check whether this 003 will delete or not so let me just select that and click on delete records once you click on delete records you will see a warning kind of symbol and it is saying that since it is restricted so you cannot delete the parent record if child record contain the reference of that parent so this is the meaning of restricted now let me show you the second thing let me go to again advanced and let me go to the advanced and here if i select parental now let's see what happened okay now here it's done now let's see here uh, first refresh it okay let me just do the hard refresh so entire page will be refreshed if i try to delete the b001 from the parent table and here in child table b001 
reference is given and the maintenance request for that building is floor brack okay now let me try to delete that if i try to delete that so it will be deleted and let's see what happened now from the child table if the parent data is deleted so reference data will automatically deleted so that is the meaning of parental uh, behavior in relationship so i hope you get it now let me tell you the third thing instead of parental let me select the custom now in custom it is a combination of restricted and parental now let's say if i am selecting a custom that means if i am deleting a parent table data what should happen with the child table so here it is saying that delete all uh, sorry not delete all but cascade all this means that whatever the reference record is there it will be deleted from the child table if i am deleting the master table record now second is cascade all so this is the property of assign now if i drop down this here you can see the cascade all cascade active cascade user on and cascade none that means if i am deleting a parent table record then all the child table record will automatically deleted that is called cascade all now let's say i don't want to delete all the records but i want to delete only the active records so you need to select the cascade active then whatever the record status is active that record will be deleted the active record will be as it is so this is the meaning of cascade active now the third is cascade user on that means whatever users are deleted or whatever the records are deleted by the user so all the records will be deleted from the child table which is created by the same user so that is the meaning of cascade user on and cascade none means if you keep a none that means that if you delete anything from the parent table then child table record will not be deleted so this is called cascade none and here unshare also four option which is same as the assign and for share also same four, uh, same four options are there now here if you see the reparent that means if you delete anything from the parent table then it will be automatically deleted and if you update anything now let me show you if i keep it as a cascade all in reparent and just click on done now see i am updating the record uh, or you can say i am updating the bid that is building id b0022 instead of that i am writing b22 and save it if data is saved and if you go to the reference table now we are b20 b0022 now automatically it will be updated if i refresh it now here you can see that there is no need to update the reference record if parent record is updated so in this way you can update the information of child table when parent table records are updated so i hope you understand now before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video first you have learned why relationship is required second thing you have learned how to establish relationship between two table in dataverse and third thing you have learned different types of relationship in dataverse and fourth thing you learn how to update the child table records when parent table records are updated thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning